Hey Scorpio, how's it going? We are here with a timeless reading. The first card that we have out is the Knight of Wands. Actually, no, it's not the Knight of Wands, it's the Page of Wands. Sorry, these cards are a little bit different. It says Messenger of Wands, this is a page. And then we also have the chariot coming out. I feel like you have a plan here. Like, doesn't this page of wands look like they're up to something? Like, there's a plan here. There's an intention here. So this can be like, I'm planning to go in this direction. Or like, I know what's happening. But more than anything, like, there's a sense of confidence that I feel with this card. Where it's like, this is what I'm trying to make happen. To have the chariot, it feels like... I feel like whatever this is that you're doing or whatever this is that you're planning, whatever it is that you have up your sleeve, that's what this is feeling like, having something up your sleeve. I think it just might work out for you, Scorpio. Having the chariot pop out says that there may be some challenges that pop up, but that you're gonna figure it out. The mastermind. All right. I feel like your wisdom is going to help you through this. I think, too, that the challenges that pop up are going to keep it interesting and entertaining for you. Okay. There's a decision about what you want to do here. Maybe you have two doors opening in front of you and you have to pick which one you want to go through because I am seeing Ace of Wands here. But you, you addressing this and just getting on making a decision is definitely going to be helpful. Page of Wands has me feeling like you may already know the direction that you want to go in actually. But it may, having Chariot here can say, like, it may not be a straight shot. There are things that you're going to have to figure out and there are going to be blocks and there are going to be obstacles. And Chariot is like such a good omen to see. It's like, whatever it is that comes up for you, you're going to figure it out. It's like whatever puzzle gets, is like presented to you, you end up solving it. Right now, I am seeing that, like there's a choice that needs to be made, but it seems like it's connected with like what door that you want to be going through here. And I'm seeing your guide say like, make this decision. So if you're looking at this and being like, yeah, I have been putting it off, this suggestion is for you to make a choice and move with it. Also too, sometimes when we get to this point of needing to make a choice, it's just about like we're at a decision point and a choice needs to be made and Sometimes the choice is really important. Sometimes the choice is more trivial and it's more about just like making the choice so the story can continue rather than just staying frozen. So this is your guide saying, look at this, decide something so we can keep moving. Because you could feel at this point like something is being delayed And if you need help making the decision, then get help. Talk to somebody that you trust or whatever it is that you do that may help you make this choice and decide. Like, what do you do when you're facing something and you're trying to figure it out? But definitely prioritize this. Okay. Things are definitely gonna get moving.
this seems like like a personal choice or something that would be affecting you within your personal life Has to do with a relationship. This is something that you've been thinking about. I'm seeing Queen of Pentacles and I'm seeing Eight of Wands. So this feels like, personally, I'm seeing you making progress. Where are you going towards the Four of Wands? So this is that, like, you're going to be moving towards a spot that, like, you feel good about being in this place. And it feels stable in a way that you feel like you could enjoy it. Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Because Four of Wands is about harmony. And so maybe this choice is inspired by a desire for, for harmony or equilibrium or balance, stability. Nine of Pentacles says that this would be something that one would enjoy. I'm also seeing the hermit though. So I feel like maybe this is on the table, but you could have potentially not made a choice about it yet. Ace of Wands and Hermit. It's like, I know that that door is available to me. I know that that's an option, but I'm still thinking about it. You have to ask yourself, like, what would be most enjoyable for you? Yeah, I feel like this is a decision about, like, a commitment or a relationship. Go with what feels inspiring to you. Like, what do you feel most interested in, most intrigued by? Three of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Three of Pentacles is somebody that you're like working with or somebody that you're interacting with, but Nine of Swords can be, like this can be bringing up stuff for you. Like maybe some spooky stuff this is bringing up for you. Cause Nine of Swords is like, I can't get out of my head. I'm so worried about this, but I'm seeing the character in in the card of the nine of swords is like looking over to the three of pentacles so maybe there are like a lot of fears that you're projecting onto a situation between you and someone else see how it's like you see this person right and they're it's like they're staring at something and the card that came out is the three of pentacles and that's usually like us us like having an interaction or like working with somebody or working on something with someone but these can be like all of the worries that you have about it but i feel almost like you're projecting that onto this i feel like you're freaking yourself out here with something that like may not even actually be going on but maybe that's something that you're realizing too like you're getting way too in your head about this I, I also feel as well like Scorpio you have to know with your energy that like you can really go to the depths of things but that may not always be what's happening like you can definitely imagine all of the possibilities right but many of those possibilities may not be taking place and you have to ask yourself whether or not this is productive because I feel like you're just sitting with this and I feel like it's not productive at this point. Like maybe you need to jump into this and go into it rather than just sitting here worrying about it. 
it's like worrying specifically about like how this would work or like how the interaction will go or like what's going to happen but it's like all of this feels very like imaginary even though it can like you're realistic right even though this can be possibilities of what would happen like you don't actually know so it's like it's like really worrying about something the day before when we have no idea how that's actually gonna go and as much as you can go to the depths and like realize all of the possibilities here do you think that's helping like the brilliance of scorpio is that there's such an ability to oh, like really see things from all angles but sometimes it can be too many angles and it can get unfocused and there's just too much going on and it can feel overwhelming and then it's like losing the drive because you feel like it's sucking all of your energy. And then you're worried about things that aren't even happening and may never happen actually. It's like a good thing to be able to think like this when we want to be prepared, but when it becomes overwhelming, it's not gonna do us any good. Yeah, this is a self-sabotaging thing. I'm seeing that you're aware of this though. But you may just be feeling a bit, see, this is the thing too. Maybe you're feeling kind of paranoid about this. But all of this, you like getting locked in your head, you need to find a way to do something else to switch it up to get out of there. Cause it's sort of like, you imprisoning yourself mentally here <laughs> and i'm seeing your shadow be like follow me darker and deeper and darker like into this cave that we're going into here but i'm seeing the hanged man so if something just needs to be realized about this i feel like you're gonna realize that you're perpetuating something that may not be the reality of this situation but you're just like really worried about it and this comes from a place of being hyper vigilant of like i've been through stuff before i need to be prepared i have to know everything you know like for those of us with with scorpio placements it's like we've been through things before where we feel like we need to be prepared because you never know what could happen and you don't want to be surprised but i'm getting you're like taking this way too far here okay you need to ground your energy you're ungrounded and you would know this too i'm not like i'm not telling you anything that you don't know and of course like with all paranoias right it's like well there is a possibility that maybe that could potentially happen but it's like the likelihood of these things happening that you're over here worrying about very very low and also so what if something does happen you're gonna be fine but I'm seeing that you're worrying unnecessarily and that you need to sort of, uh, you're like turning yourself inside out here. You have to switch up the angle. Like everything's gonna be fine no matter what happens. You're gonna be okay. I feel like a bit of defensiveness like you being like you in this mind frame because you may be like worried about like being hurt or like not seeing something coming but I'm getting your guides be like you have to look at this a different way like don't like it's just a vibrational thing where you are right now you need to get to like a higher above sea level here. Because it even feels like like you may be ruining a good thing like because three of pentacles right this card just feels very peaceful like this specific card to me there's just something about it that there's just something about it that feels like really well balanced like i feel like it's even the composure of the colors you see green and that's the heart chakra you see the yellow from everybody and that solar plexus like we're all we're all working together you see the blue that's throat chakra we're all communicating with one another you see the red that's here it's like we're all showing up together like physically you know so it's like everybody working together and being on the same page and also when i show up and i work because this card there's the there's like a mirror right it's like if you split this down the middle what's happening over here is happening over here 
And so I feel like this is about like the energy that you enter into this like collaboration of sorts that you're moving through is going to mirror you. And so if you're telling yourself these spooky stories about it, it's going to turn into a nightmare for you. But I'm, I'm seeing this be just, this is just your shadow. I'm not seeing this is actually going on. And also too, like for those of you that have Scorpio placements, it's where we can become sort of untethered and where we have a propensity to become paranoid when we are ungrounded. So you need to know yourself as you're moving through this, like knowing what the signs of that are. Like when you're starting to not feel safe and you feel like you can't get out of your head, like what are you doing to help you cope with this and try to switch it up how you're seeing things? You need things that are gonna ground you, you need an anchor. Cause you can really like go anywhere and explore, but sometimes you get a little bit lost. So you need like a flashlight or a tether to sort of bring you back, okay? Because Scorpio is such a powerful sign, you have to learn how to wield that type of power without it being your downfall. Because I really do get the vibe of like, something is fine here. Like there's somebody that you're working with, somebody that you're interacting with, and I'm not seeing there be any issues, but like in your head, you're creating issues, but it's not actually what's going on within the situation. I feel like you're fighting yourself here. So we see hanged man and we see the fool. So this is like when you get to the point where you can see this from another perspective, you're going to be open and willing to like take a risk or be open more so to like change and chance and exploration. But before you get to that point, you may see something as a no-go, but it's like, it's specifically because of a lens that you are projecting onto it, like a frame that you are projecting onto this. So I, I feel like you would be maybe open to like collaborating in this way or working with this person or something like that sort of opening yourself up to something new or something different but i'm just i'm getting a lot of like mental stuff here so maybe this is first about addressing this from an angle of mental health especially because we have like Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, Hanged Man, which is connected with Neptune, which Neptune, when it's ungrounded, it can be a very delusional energy, you know, but we can be very convinced of things that are going on, but it's not. And also, Neptune is connected with mental health, too. And so it's sort of about, like, the state that you're in, how what you're seeing is going to reflect that back to you. But the reason why it's so tricky is that, like, we don't realize most of the time but it's really like what's going on internally is reflected externally. But I feel very strongly that you're projecting it onto whatever this three of pentacles is for you. Like whatever this, this situation is where you're like working with somebody or interacting with somebody. And it's like all of these thoughts that you're having that it's like trying to push it onto this, but it's like your shadow and the agenda of your shadow. And like, you know this too, like you know this has happened in other situations, so it's not a completely out there idea to imagine that this is happening again. But I'm seeing that it's kind of keeping you away from opening yourself up 
to exploring and being open and living your life. And it does come from a place of like wanting to keep yourself safe as well. So it's not just like, like I'm going to be crazy today or I'm going to be delusional today or I'm going to be paranoid today, you know, like it all comes from a real place. That's why it can be so hard to discredit sometimes because it's like, well, there have been times when my intuition has been right, but this isn't your intuition. This is, it's not your intuition speaking to you. This is your anxiety speaking to you. This is your fear speaking to you. And that's also how you know, too, the difference between like your shadow versus your intuition. Your intuition is going to tell you things and it will be like, even though this wild thing could be happening right now or this very unexpected thing could be happening, it's going to be happening and you're going to be OK. We're going to figure out a way through it. You know, like your intuition is always very comforting in that way. That's how you know when it's talking to you because it instills a feeling of like, I'm gonna be safe no matter what. It's gonna be okay no matter what. Like my guide's got my back no matter what. Like I'm indestructible, so there's not that like worry. But when it's your shadow and when it's your anxiety, when it's your fear talking to you, it's like, ooh, what's gonna happen? You know, it's very ominous and it's very paranoid. And although it's coming from a place of like the ego, being like, let me scare you so you don't do anything and we keep you safe. It's just, it's gotten out of hand here. It's ungrounded. And it's affecting the quality of your life right now, or at least the quality of this situation for you. Because I'm seeing something that you may actually be very open to um, if you were feeling grounded. So maybe that's also the first thing that needs to be done here is just you grounding your energy. Because I do feel very strongly that something, something is being presented to you, but you may be sort of like hiding from it or turning away from it, but it's like out of fear. So I guess it's also important to recognize too, like what's motivating you as well, because what motivates the decisions you make is also going to be intertwined in like the outcome. So if you're making decisions based off of based off of your inspiration, which I'm seeing you are inspired with something here, like there is a direction that you want to move in. I just get like anxiety about actually doing this when like you know what you want to do and you can feel that in your heart. And you can feel that when you tap into this, the very passionate aspect of you. But I'm getting that maybe because this requires a move on your end that you could be feeling intimidated about it, but I'm getting that like you need to make a decision, you need to make a choice here, but I'm getting that your anxiety may be st stalling you out right now. And I also feel too like like your shadow may be like, make this decision, but your intuition is telling you to make a different decision and that may be why you feel stuck right now. Because you have your shadow saying one thing and your intuition saying another thing. But maybe you're just gonna still take some more time to sort of think this over. Or maybe you're going to take a leap of faith. Maybe you're ready for. I'm seeing that like if all this mental stuff was brushed out of the way, having Page of Wands and having the Fool, it's like I'm excited to go in this direction and I want to go in. So like I'm going to do that. But I'm seeing maybe because of all of the other stuff that's going on, I feel like it's not. That's why things haven't been happening. I'm seeing Cancer and Virgo here. Over the Hanged Man just fell the Ten of Swords. So this can mean that the way that you had been framing an ending may be changing. 
the way that you had been like thinking about it maybe changing. To have six of cups, this could have been something that already happened. But I, I do feel like when you close out what needs to be closed out here, it's going to free you up. Almost like karmically, energetically, you're sort of chained to this until you conclude what needs to be concluded. But then after that, it sort of frees you to go where you want to go. I'm seeing Aquarius on the bottom of the deck. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.